Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how you can create this drop down navigation bar. Okay, so it's very easy. So let's jump into the video. First, let's go to the assets panel. Uh, we will make components and assets. I'm going to make a nav. Inside nav, I'm going to make my first option in which I'm going to show the options hover effect inside the drop down. I have like added this text called option and I'm going to make this frame to fit content and it's width to fit content. Okay, so I have made this frame fit and what I'm going to do I'm I'm going to add some padding here. So in top and bottom it's 6 and in left and right I'm going to add 12 and 12. Here we go and I was going to make border radius of 8 pixel maybe. Yep, it's fine. So for hover effect, what I was going to do, I'm going to just first change its color to black. And I was going to add a fill here. Not that much dark, but I was going to add some thing like this. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, it's looking good. What I can do next, I was going to add this in my library so I can use it in the list. Then we are going to make a list inside the nav. I will go nav slash sorry list. In the list, we are going to use this nav options which we have created. Okay, so this is the option we have here. What I'm going to do, I was going to make its width and height to fit content. Then I'm going to duplicate it by command D. Then I'm going to add some gap here of 16 pixel and padding of 6, 6 bottom, left 12, right 12. Okay. And I can make the border radius of 12 pixel or maybe 16 pixel. Then what I was going to do, I'll check how it's looking. Oh, it's looking good, but let me just decrease the, let me just swap the paddings. Let me make it 12, 12, 12. Okay. Okay. Now it's looking good. Then what I was going to do, I'm going to make this list in a, I'll add this list in my library and so I can use it in the button which we are going to show this list then I am going to make a button here so I'll just copy this arrow and text from here and okay so first what I'm going to do let me just remove this button okay I will give this text to the for example company then I'll make this fit. Then I'm also going to add some padding here. Okay. Then I'll change its text to oh sorry. I'll change its text to black and I will make its hover effect. So while hovering, wait, first of all, let me just add some border radius here of 12 pixel. No, I don't need any background. I will let you know why. First, I'm going to add this. Okay. And I'll make this dark to, okay, from left to right. Okay, now it's cool. Okay, and I'll copy this color and I'll change it to black and when it's on hovering straight, I will change this arrow to up and its color to this purple. Okay, then I was going to use this list. Just click this button and command slash. You can you can choose the list from here. And what I was going to do, I will change its type to absolute. So I can adjust it myself. Okay, that's looking good. 
let me get to the center okay it's now center now i can check how it's looking okay it's looking good now what i will going to do i will add this to my library so i can use this button in my designs i'm going to home page and just remove this company and let me just use this button oh here we go okay so i have added this company button here and let's see how it's looking okay it's looking good what i can do i can add a drop shadow in the list it will look good i'm going to add a 12 pixel of y axis and for pixel blur and change its opacity to 10 percent let's see how it's looking now okay now it's looking good if you learn something new from this video share it with your friends so they can also learn and if you have any doubt and if you want some tutorial of something related to figma and framer let me know in the comment section i will make tutorial of it like and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching